Hello, you are welcome again to our channel. Today, I want to be sharing with you how you can register your company with Corporate Affairs Commission CAC. How you can register your company with CAC, Corporate Affairs Commission. You can actually do this yourself. The government has made it very easy for you to register your company name with CAC. Follow me on this journey as I share with you how to register your company with CAC. Now look at what we have here. This is the site of CAC, cac.gov.ng. Once you come to this site, you will see about them services, resources and a whole lot like that. If you want to do public search, this is where you come to. Take for instance, you want to know, I'm clicking on that, you want to know if someone else has been using your name. You can actually search it online. Once you search it online, it will bring out the name if someone else is actually using that very name that is really if someone else is using that very name now what are the services what are the services they render you can register your company as a business name you can register as a limited company and can also register ngo that's what we call it as incorporated trustees you can register as ngo we call it incorporated trustees now if you want to register as either an ngo or as a business name or as a limited company what are the steps we need to follow let's click on that as an online registration okay let's use the online registration this one is still loading uh, this one is still now what are the steps do we need to take number one step look at this now once you as a company here is it if you want to have your business name uh you can register as a business name yes you can register as a company you can register as a business name you can also register as if you want to run an NGO, you can register as an NGO. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log in. Either you register as a new applicant or you log in. If you ask to register, this is what you do. Just create an account for yourself. Your name, your name, your middle name, your age, gender, and you will put your password. Once you put your password, you should just go through. I have I have a I've registered with them so I have to log in. So it's my username then my password login in. Once I log in to bring my details, you can see your details, you can see a whole lot of others. Now if you want to register a business name, first thing you need to do is to search, do a name search. Ah, this is where you come to name reservation. You reserve the name you want to use come to new name reservation once you click on that to bring out so many options now look at it if you want to reserve your name this is what happens here it will bring all this it will ask you to select um it will ask you for the name you want to reserve So, new name reservation. When it comes here, it will ask you for the type of registration you want to the name you want to be as a business name or as a company as incorporated trustee. Let's let's do business name for instance. So 
which you ask you for the proposed name if you are using a company which will ask you if it is private limited company public limited company and so on like that so you select the one you want if it is an ngo you select incorporated trustee but this one will require consent code now let's go with business name if you are using business name once you click that the next thing to ask you is your proposed name let's say uh golden ventures golden ventures and our second option is giving let's say golden gold services so then you save and continue the next thing to ask for you ask here is objective that's objective of your company what your company wants to be doing after that is your request you can see objectives. what are the objectives of your company just write the objective you move to present our details your own details then it will preview once it's previewed that it will now go to payment that is you are paying for the name search once you pay for that thing say about 500 or so within 24 hours they will give you feedback if that name is available once they approve the name for you once that name is approved you have to just come to this page and click new registration once they have approved that name you now come to new registration so in this new registration you now start you start registering your the code they give you from your uh, your code availability code from your name reservation you put it here then you continue your registration so once you sub you submit all the necessary um, documents that is required your id card valid id card your house address your a whole lot of uh, this needs to be stated there so this is how to register your company name yourself step by step on how to register a company private or public step by step on how to register so everything is on their website so you come to their website and click different steps that you need to take how to register your company name click propose name to do your name search complete pre-registration form pay filing fee and a whole host of others like that so it is very very easy to do this yourself so you come to cac.gov.ng if you are running a business in nigeria it is necessary for you to register your company this will bring trust even your customers you have rest of mind that you are registered with the government continue to improve yourself and make the world a better place don't forget to subscribe to this channel as we'll be bringing you uh, different opportunities or now you can do different things and make more money into your bank account thank you